country needs every ounce of its energy to restore itself. The costs of government are all assessed upon the people. This means that the farmer is doomed to provide a certain amount of money out of the sale of his produce, no matter how low the price to pay his taxes. The manufacturer, the professional man, the clerk must do the same from their income. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. The Japanese began the war from the air at Pearl Harbor. They have been repaid many fold, and the end is not yet. So is the very structure of our society. In the councils of government, we must car guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. I am delighted to be here, and I'm particularly delighted to be here on this occasion. We meet at a college noted for knowledge, in a city noted for progress, in a state noted for strength, and we stand in need of all three. For we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear. Basic First Amendment privileges because they haven't committed themselves to that over there. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. Good evening. Last January 15th, I went before your senators and representatives in Congress with a comprehensive plan to make our country independent of foreign sources of energy by 1985. Such a program was long overdue. We have become increasingly at the mercy of others for the fuel on which our entire economy runs. Thank you very much. Chancellor Cole, Governing Mayor Deepkin, ladies and gentlemen, 24 years ago, President John F. Kennedy visited Berlin. And speaking to the people of this city and the world at the City Hall, well, since then, two other presidents have come, each in his turn to Berlin. And today, I myself make my second visit to well, Thank you very much, President Reagan. Mrs. Reagan, members of the uh, cabinet, distinguished guests, my friends. Elected by regions in 1978, and a president that re -elected, directly elected by the people in 1981. Legislative power is vested in that National Assembly, while the executive power is vested in the president. And the uh, party in power. Thank you, President Reagan. This has been an opportunity to get to know each other, to explore common issues together. Above all, though, I can say that for my part, the most important aspect has been the chance to meet each other. To build the more perfect union of our founders' dreams. We began the new century with over 20 million new jobs, the fastest economic growth in more than 30 years, the lowest unemployment rates in 30 years, the lowest poverty rates in 20 years, the lowest African-American and Hispanic unemployment rates on record, the first back-to-back -back surpluses in 42 years, and next month, America will achieve the longest period of economic growth in our entire history. Spread the wealth 
and keep the people working here at home. We are working to create appealing employment opportunities by focusing on the development of certain priority sectors that give high income jobs. For instance, business process outsourcing. So what if the guy threw a shoe at me? No, I consider it an important step in, 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 uh, on the road toward an Iraq that can sustain itself, govern itself, and defend itself. But let me talk about the guy throwing the shoe. Ilang halimbawa pa lang po ito na alabatid nyo ang napakarami pang iba. Sa ganitong sitwasyon, masisisi ba natin ang mga kababayang lumikas na dahil walang makitang pag-asa? Mindful of the sacrifices borne by our ancestors. I thank President Bush for his service to our nation. You must be respected. Don't us just throw away questions and statements. Putang ina mumurahin kita dyan sa forum na yan. Statements in the past. And uh, so clearly he's a colorful guy. Um, and what I've instructed my team to do is to uh, talk to their Philippine counterparts to find out. Uh, Ayan, kahit uh, ako ay 14 days quarantine pa, ay nakikita ko na yung aking uh, pamilya. Siyempre, yung aking may bay, si Mayora Jonah, yung aking mga anak, at ang aking mami na si Mayora Sonia. And China and the rest of the world are moving to catch up in some cases in certain areas, move ahead. Our infrastructure used to be rated the best in the world. Today, today, according to the World Economic Forum, we rank 13th in the world. The United States of America ranks 13th in the world in infrastructure.